Hey, I'm Cosmo Courtney and this time I'd like to talk about the current state of cheat code creation with emulators just like Dolphin. There's a particular problem with them. If you have a look here, the cheat code searcher is pretty horribly designed and this is also the case with a lot of other emulators and others don't even feature any kind of cheat search. So I'd like to show you one example how bad it actually works here. To do this I just gonna search for the address and value that represents the current selection in the course selection screen. Um, here's already one problem. Um, if we have about uh, more than 1000 values, they won't be displayed here and there's no way you can switch between different pages of results. So yeah, this is something I'd like to change in future. So now we've got the uh, the address and value of the course selection and if I now want to test it and use a value um, that goes into the negative area of a 32-bit value the following will happen. The emulator thinks it's just an invalid value. This is probably because a programmer didn't make the value as an unsigned integer or whatever. Um, there's also a newer version of this with the uh, most recent versions of the emulator that even feature searching for uh, floating point values and such. But for some reasons you just can't do unknown value searches, which is pretty stupid. So I thought I gonna change this and create my own cheat engine to search for cheat codes on any kind of emulator. But the implementation will be a little bit complicated. So first I gonna have to find out where the emulator actually carries all the virtual memory of the emulated system. So this here looks like I found the exact range the system use. Yes, as you can see, here is the game ID, so this must be the virtual memory of the Nintendo GameCube. So we have to be looking for a memory region of this size here.
here I load the um, process ID into this variable and I attempt to hook up to the emulator and the um, process handle should be written into this variable here and then I gonna try to print it here to the debug information thing. Okay, yes, this has worked pretty well though. Here we have the process handle. As you can see we have now found the first memory range of the emulator which is, has been printed here. Uh, now I'm gonna create a for loop to print all memory ranges of the emulator. So I can later start picking up the right one and start creating the actual memory search feature. Okay, now let's compare the result I have gotten here. Um, <coughs> well, this is all looking pretty good here. Let's see if we find the one where the virtual memory is located.
Yes, here it is. Um, now I have to put all these results into a, an array, so I can always automatically pick um, the entry of this size and I will always get the memory location of the virtual memory of the Nintendo GameCube or Nintendo Wii depending on whatever is currently emulated with Dolphin. Oh, I accidentally forgot to continue recording while I was um, doing some more progress here. Well, what I'm trying to do now is putting all the memory addresses and range sizes into arrays and then reading them again but check if we can find a memory range of this particular size um, which corresponds to the GameCube or the memory size. Okay, here we now have um, all memory ranges with the same size. Now I have to figure out any way to um, get the right one because we don't want the other ones here. Well, I think this is a good success so far. Now I'm gonna think of a good way to pick the needed memory range. It's this one right here and may change between other revisions of the emulator. As soon as I continue coding on it, I will take you with me. So, thank you for watching and see you next time. And don't forget to greet your bad bugs from me. Bye.